Hi, my name is Bob. How are you doing today? It is a lovely weather outside. Let's go out. Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you something about automating a character so that it can read its own script uh, using a few lines of code. So first let's download uh, a rigged Blender character here. I'm just uh, searching for a head uh, because uh, I just need the lip movement here. So the format would be Blender and then uh, it should be free and that's how I got this character here which should serve our purpose so let's download it the idea is to actually download this character and animate its lip movement according to the script given so let's download this uh, particular head here and uh, let's open it in blender Okay, so I'm using Blender 2.81 here. And now here it is. So this is the character which is uh, pretty nicely rigged. We just need to open a text editor to write our code. Even if you are not very familiar with Python codes, uh, it's not a problem. Uh, you can just see these codes and write it down like that make a little bit of changes according to your needs and You should be fine so what we need here is to Change the movement of this bone here, which is a jawbone and it is connected to three different lip bones in the lower lip uh, first we need to go into pose mode actually to uh, make this happen so let's go to pose mode and then you can select a particular bone and make a movement like that so that's what we want to get automated using our code here so first of all we need to create uh, or, or call an object armature which is the parent uh, bone and then you can call any bone you want so first let's do that using this line of code and then we are gonna uh, call uh, set the uh, pose mode for this particular object so you do it like that so now we have the mode is equal to pose and now uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new uh, object not an object a variable p bone which is actually the jaw bone which we are going to play with so uh, the idea is to use this jawbone's rotational movement to create a lip movement for this character. So let's do that. Uh, you need to actually uh, change this particular rotation um, coordinate system into a Euler three degree, uh, three axis uh, coordinate system. So we need to change this into X, Y, Z. Uh, that's the rotation mode we have. And then you can change it here to see how it looks like so now um, that is much more simple and then you need to define the axis along which this movement will happen so we just need a x-axis movement uh, which can actually uh, make the lower lip go down and if you change the X angle for example to uh, 10 degrees here uh, just a little bit more uh, then you see that the mouth is open like this so uh, the idea is to change these angles around x-axis to make the desired lip movement for this character so now we are going to rotate this particular bone uh, along a Euler XYZ coordinate system we do it using this function it takes two uh, uh, variables first is the axis which we have defined as x-axis and uh, angle by which it will rotate so you need to convert this angle into radians right now it is in degrees so that's how uh, it takes uh, as an input you do it like this so let's define uh, an angle here uh, which is for example 10 degrees and then run this script so 
what you get is this lip movement here for this character that looks fine now we need to play with this angle and uh, using a logic and then you can get the desired uh, movement of the lips so this is the uh, a piece of code that will give the movement to this particular character's lips now we are going to define a string or a, a dialogue which this character is supposed to speak and uh, I'm, uh, get, I'm uh, taking a very simple dialogue here like hi my name is Bob how are you doing today and blah 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 and then uh, what am I going to do is that I'm going to split this particular string of characters into individual characters and those individual characters will have uh, its own lip movement for this animated uh, character so uh, <clears throat> using a python code i'm gonna split this thing into different individual characters uh, first we need to define a few variables as defaults current angle is zero and frame number is one and now we are gonna run a for loop uh, for each character in this string so list string actually divides our our, our uh, you know explodes this particular string into individual characters and now we are going to have a condition like if the character is a uh, then we are going to have this much of lip movement uh, so basically the angle and the idea is to actually uh, take all the vowels out of the sentence uh, the string and then give a particular angle of movement to the lower lips for each of these vowels and uh, so that whenever the character encounters a vowel uh, it will make this much movement to its lips and uh, this is a pretty simple logic that i have created here you may use more complicated logic maybe for each word or for each uh, letter in the sentence you could have a different logic a different kind of lip movement involving other bones so that you get more natural lip movement for this particular animated uh, character. Uh, so for each of the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, Y, I'm not gonna uh, add <clears throat> this much amount of angle. And then uh, I'm gonna put a condition where it encounters a period. Uh, so that will be a pause. So you have a zero movement in its lips so the angle will be equal to zero and then uh, I'm, I'm also gonna add another condition when it encounters a space so there again the lip movement will be zero so the angle will be zero and in all other conditions that is else I'm gonna have a default lip movement something like two degrees so in all other characters all other letters that it encounters in this sentence apart from whatever we have defined here it will have a very little lip movement and now we are going to add a question for the angle change for this uh, lip movement so angle uh, actually will be the the angle that we have defined for each character minus uh, subtracted uh, by the current angle of this jawbone and that angle has to be in degrees because right now it is in radians uh, we also need to define the current angle but default value of that is zero of course but after each movement it has done uh, in this loop we need to define we need to get actually what the current angle is for this jawbone and that we get using this particular function so that will revert back to you the angle along x-axis we actually need to put this line after we have done the change yeah so this is what we have and now we need to set the keyframes after each iteration in this for loop so the idea is for each character uh, for each letter actually in the sentence you have a lip movement and then you keyframe it so you keyframe it uh, using this line of code pretty simple 
uh, we also need to change the uh, frame number of uh, yeah, we need, we, we need to move forward. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm increasing frame by two. So after each third keyframe uh, 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 in the timeline, after each frame, th third frame, a keyframe will be uh, there. <clears throat> now, if we run this script, you see there is only one keyframe here. That is because we have not indented these lines. So unless you indent these lines, it will not come under the for loop that we have defined above. You know, that's how Python works. So you need to indent all these lines so that it all comes under this for loop. And now we don't run the script. Yeah, here we go. Here we get all the keyframes set. And then if you run the animation, it will have a lip movement like this. This is a pretty rough uh, lip movement here. You can always make changes with the uh, different uh, angle variations. And now I'm going. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this string and get a speech out of this text using this website from text2speech.com. You can also do a voiceover yourself, but I'm again automated this uh, automating this thing as well by getting an audio file for this particular uh, line of sentence. And then, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna open the video sequencer and add this audio file here so that your animation now will have voice as well. Hi, and this character is not speaking. Is how are you doing today? So that's how it, it works. It's pretty simple. Side. It's very it rough, but out. you can always improve upon it and get a lot of other movements for head, for upper lip, uh, so that it can speak more. Its, it's lip movement look more natural. And that way you can create a very realistic uh, character. You can use it in your animation Hi, where they have to speak Bob. a lot of things. How are you doing today? Or uh, automated newsreader or whatever. Side. So Let's thanks for watching. Out.